Bonjour, Danse, Songibidi, CNNH, Nakas, Kinuto, Dem. My name is Clayton Thomas Mueller. I'm the Stop It at the Source campaigner with the Global Climate Change Organization, 350.org, and I'm a constituency of your writing. Uh, uh, scientists of the world today, they announced, it's all over social media and the news, that the coral reef is officially dead. One of the world's most precious ecological resources. And it's dead because of climate change, ocean acidification. Our government signed the Paris Accord to meet a 1.5 degree imperative at the request of indigenous peoples living in small island states whose countries are disappearing under rising ocean levels. This government is going into Marrakesh having adopted the climate targets of the former government, Harper. And this government has approved Harper Lake era fossil fuel proposals, namely the LNG super terminal in northern British Columbia, against the will of many local First Nations who are still there blockaded, uh, trying to protect the sacred uh, Skeeda sanctuary from this horrific project that's going to destroy one of the world's most pristine salmon runs. How can this government go into Marrakesh uh, and, and you know, protect the legacy that you're trying to build by continuing to, economically anyway, act like Prime Minister Harper was acting prior? It still seems like there's a big oil pipeline of money coming into Ottawa, and now here we have, you know, December, a decision that's in your hands, it's in Prime Minister Trudeau's hands, to reject the, the Kinder Morgan pipeline. It's a slave with two people, don't want that pipeline to be built. There's a lot of talk about consultation, and you've mentioned many times, you know, the complexities of the landscape that you have to deal with. But this is like, this is the, the kind of big, big decision, you know, whether or not y'all achieve your goal to get oil sands to, tar to tide water. And, you know, I think that that puts, I know for myself, that puts your entire climate legacy at risk, and it also puts at risk your commitment to renew the nation-to-nation -nation relationship to First Nations. scientific evidence, the support within indigenous communities, and a more balanced approach to the way in which we develop resources in Canada. I have spent many, many, many hours with indigenous peoples in Burrard Inlet. I have learned from indigenous peoples that the relationship to the land, the air, and the water is sacred that extends back seven generations, inheriting a responsibility passed on to us, looking ahead at seven generations, so that we act responsibly in our own time. And this is not only a value that should be important to Indigenous peoples in Canada. This is a value that should be important to all of us. Is that better, is that better? 